Hey, welcome back. This is uh, the game called Super Flight, and uh, it's probably the best dollar fifty I've uh, spent on Steam uh, in recent memory. Uh, it's half off right now because of the Steam sale. If you're watching this here uh, right before Thanksgiving in uh, 2019, you might jump over there and see if it's still on sale. It's got uh, overwhelmingly positive reviews, and uh, for a dollar fifty, I said, "Well, let's give it a try." And uh, I've been enjoying it. I've been playing a little bit. So I was trying to get my score up a little bit and get better at uh, the controls. It's pretty simple. It's just uh, up, down, left, right. But uh, there's, you know, momentum and things like that. So you have to kind of get a feel for what works and what does not. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you have been enjoying the Kenshi series. I figure I'd, I'd do a uh, non-Kenshi Vendu video for people who are not into Kenshi and might like to see a new game uh, that you can get for relatively cheap on Steam. So if you... Uh, are enjoying the super flight footage here, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Ouch, that's my face. Um, and uh, all that good stuff. The normal comments and all that are definitely appreciated as well. Uh, I'm not going to be talking this entire video. I did want to say a little bit about the channel. Uh, as a lot of people have been probably aware, uh, especially if you're a creator on YouTube, uh, there's this new COPA regulation that uh, is making gaming uh, channels and stuff like that a little less um, of a desirable thing to have as they are going to be demonetizing pretty much all channels that are um, directed at kids. Now I wouldn't say that my channel is directed at kids. It is gaming of course but I've always had a older audience and um, the games I play for the most part, maybe excluding this video, um, are usually more of an adult themed thing, so more violence and stuff like that, like in Crossouts um, or in Kenshi, certainly has a lot of adult themes, so uh, definitely Team Plus and uh, never really been directed at kids. But uh, nonetheless, if uh, you do have a channel that is deemed as um, directed at kids, you can definitely have all your monetization taken away, or at least those on the videos that they deem is directed at kids. So. What does that mean for me? It means I'm probably not going to be continuing this channel after the new year, at least. Because it's just a, a risk that I'm not really willing to take uh, on stuff like that. Because um, it's not just losing monetization, it's also that uh, possibly you could be fined if they uh, think that you are trying to create videos that are targeted towards kids. Um, even though, you know, I'm not distributing this video and have no information if it goes to kids, really, until it's already out in the world, um, somehow there's, they're making noises like you could possibly be culpable. Now, I'm sure a lawyer would probably have something to say about that, um, because it isn't necessarily my YouTube, uh, YouTube is not my website or not something I can actually control distribution on, but, uh, nonetheless, uh, you know, I've been doing gaming for the last gosh, five years, five, six years, and uh, it's been slowing down a lot. You guys have probably noticed, just because I've gotten less interested in uh, gaming and doing more things outside of there, um, especially since I've been playing a lot less of Crossout lately. Anyway, here's some more music, and I'll talk to you again after the song's over.
Well, I think I'm getting a little bit better here at uh, Super Flight. Um, trying some tricks and stuff. I actually tried this one quite a few times off camera just to get through that little cave is actually pretty difficult. Um, but anyway, so uh, definitely worth uh, the dollar fifty. And uh, there's not any music in it, so I'm just kind of adding my own music and dubbing it over the top for you guys. Uh, right now it's uh, almost Thanksgiving here in the United States, and I'm sure a lot of other countries are having holidays too uh, soon in December. So at least Christmas is coming up at least. And uh, just wanted to give everybody a heads up that uh, you know you'll be getting together oftentimes with extended family if you have extended family. And uh, people have different opinions on different things, especially in the United States. Uh, there's a really divisive culture right now uh, with politics. And so just keep in mind that, uh, you know, the family is forever and politics will change in the next year or uh, five years uh, or what have you. And so uh, try to be respectful and, and try to keep uh, your tact about you when you're uh, discussing political issues with the family if it comes up and I personally would probably just not even bring it up uh, you know it's just like one of those taboo subjects but now kind of more than ever it's really divisive so I work with a lot of people with different uh, ideas than I have and uh, they're great people you know outside of our different political opinions and it's easy to have those different opinions too when uh, there's so many different sources saying completely different things out there in the world so Anyway, that's it for uh, my little PSA on uh, Thanksgiving, and uh, here's another song for you. Well, today is my uh, younger brother's birthday, and uh, I don't think he watches this channel, personally. I told him that I have the channel, uh, but uh, not, not a lot of people watch this sort of thing. But if you are watching, Alan, uh, I did want to wish you a happy birthday, and uh, look out for a present. i got something for you, and it's on its way to you uh, today at some point. So, hope you like the thing I got you. I'm not going to spoil it in case you see the video and uh, before you open the present. Uh, man, it's a good thing there's a portal there. That was very opportune. Um, it's kind of hard to believe, man, that uh, me and my brother are getting so old. You know, I'm definitely... I'm five years older than my, my brother. 
And uh, I remember when I was a kid thinking what life would be like when I was this age and, you know, what I would be like at this age. Definitely not what I would have guessed, being in the city, doing what I'm doing now, and uh, especially what I have coming up. Uh, not that it's bad or anything like that. Um, I like that, uh, you know, I do creative stuff like this. And so uh, even though I might be stopping the gaming channel in the new year, I still plan on uh, putting together different videos. Uh, I have one channel idea kind of to do with uh, kind of comedy, and if you were to mix uh, Brave Wilderness with like a comedy channel, um, that's kind of the idea of it. I I'm not going to be the host on that if uh, we end up doing it. As somebody who's really knowledgeable about animals and has a good sense of humor, and we were thinking about maybe putting some together. Uh, definitely be, you know, a more mature theme, uh, obviously, since the whole Copa thing is happening. Um, but, you know, we'll probably end up putting ratings on stuff if we end up going that route. Um, and I have a couple other uh, channel ideas. It's kind of information mixed with comedy. Um, not necessarily with me as the host. Because <laughs> I'll admit it, you know. I'm okay at making gaming videos and stuff like that, but there's definitely a lot of funny people out there, a lot more funny than I am. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, as soon as I uh, finish making this video and uh, upload it here to YouTube, I need to go out and grab some last-minute things for uh, Thanksgiving celebration. I usually get together with uh, friends for Thanksgiving, and we don't really do the traditional sort of Thanksgiving. It's usually like steak instead of turkey and uh, bacon-wrapped shrimp and all that on the barbecue, and I'm usually the guy who brings the beer and the desserts because I'm not much of a cook. I don't get a lot of practice at it. And, uh, you know, bringing, like, the old uh, pre-made meals is always kind of cheesy when everybody else is making home cooked. So, uh, you know, I feel a little bit better about doing a sweet uh, potato pie or uh, pumpkin pie, which is okay. Sometimes I'll bring Kringles. I don't know if you guys have Trader Joe's out in the world where you live, uh, but there's some pretty good treats at Trader Joe's. And then, of course, uh, the beer, the adult beverages, as uh, my friends are definitely all uh, old enough to drink. <laughs> uh, Anyway, so uh, what are you guys going to be doing for Thanksgiving? Do you have any uh, specific plans? Uh, let me know down in the uh, comments below. Check out this little nosedive I do here. Got some pretty good speed on this run. Uh, this is a neat game because it's all procedurally generated. Uh, there are seed codes that you can uh, put in. So like if you type in your name or whatever, it will create uh, a different level. Uh, but if you find something cool, you can... Uh, save that word and then share it with your friends. So if you guys uh, play Super Flight and find some cool levels, uh, definitely let me know what word you used in the uh, comments below. But uh, that is it for Super Flight. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys soon for some more uh, Kenshi here on the Gamer Guy channel.